for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Pisces, for your oracle advice we have Awaken. And on the flip side of Awaken it reads, keep your eyes open. When we decide to live a more conscious life, we see signs of grace everywhere. And that card is paired with my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. So these two cards for your oracle advice, it's basically wanting you to know that, um, well, your outer experiences, your outer world, your outer circle, the people that you hang around, the food that you eat, um, the things that are around you. They, they're, those things are all a reflection. They're all a reflection of what's going on inside. So, for instance, or example, if you have unhealthy people around you, vultures, trolls, um, if you're not eating right, uh, just junk food all the time, um, your inside, it will, um, it will take on to, to your outer experiences. Like you may not be as healthy as you should be, or you know that you can, and it's because of your outer people and things um, are no, probably no good for you. What I just mentioned, bad food, bad people, um, people are sucking the life out of you. So it's bringing your internal condition down or it's not as healthy as it should be and you may not see it but believe you me it's taking a toll on your your health your internal is usually your health or how you're feeling inside so it's paired with awaken so it's with that it's just saying keep your eyes open so when you decide to live a more conscious life, be more conscious of the people you let in your life, be more conscious of the foods that you take in, all of those things, just be more aware and more willing to let go of what's bad for you. And then you'll see signs of grace everywhere. So that's what awaken is. So let's move on down and take a look at the recent past. We have the Queen of Wands, and it's paired with the Nine of Cups. So, the Queen of Wands, this can, this can refer to a woman. This, this woman, she'll have a lot of fire energy. She could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, or it could go either way. When we're not talking about an actual person, this... This stands, this card, this Queen of Wands, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. And often, it could be a focus on work, career, but it could go family, romance, it could go either way. But um, keep in mind, the Queen is a positive, uplifting energy. When we're talking about an actual person in your life, she's your good friend, who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Keep in mind also, if you're trying to give, if you're trying to conceive at this at this time, or in the recent past, since that's what we're talking about, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, when this uh, Queen of Wands is talking about relationships and love, it's positive. If you're looking for love and you're single, Pisces. In the recent past, this can mean that you probably met someone suitable. And it was probably through a light-haired friend or acquaintance. You were probably not in the mood to be on your own at that time. So you needed to get out and socialize and trust yourself in the universe to bring you the love and support that you wanted and needed at that time. So this Queen of Wands is paired with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is a very uplifting card in the tarot. Very uplifting. It's a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. 
Now this card is showing it's usually a portent of happiness, good times about to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. So if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. But like everything else in the tarot, it could go either way. But it's a powerful, powerful indicator of yes. Yes with the Nine of Cups. It's a yes. When it's talking about love and relationships, this card is a very good omen for your love life. And if you're already in a relationship, it's possible that it's going to deepen and become better, sweeter. And if you're single, Pisces, and you get this Nine of Cups, this is a great time to meet people. So get out, mingle, have, a, have conversations with strangers, people that you, um, let's say, meet without being married to. They're all possible potential outcomes. The ideal is to have fun at this time. Or, since we're talking about the recent past, the ideal was to have fun at that time. Because that's what would have happened. And maybe it did. So with these two cards paired together for your recent past, um, Pisces, you could have had a lot of uh, fire energy at that time. And you probably felt like you had to get a whole lot accomplished. Maybe you were focused on your work or career. And so people probably thought you were self-absorbed. Or this could have been someone like that in your life or someone that came into your life that was like that. And because it's with this Nine of Cups, it's a wish card. So, um, who knows what you wished for at that time. But because it's with the Queen of Wands... Hmm. Well, who knows what you wish for, but the Nine of Cups is about being very blessed and satisfied. So, if this person came into your life, or you knew someone like that, you felt very blessed to know them. Even though they seemed self-absorbed, um, but they probably helped you get a whole lot accomplished. Yeah, they were they were like a true friend. This Queen of Wands, that's what it is. They're 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 really good friends, and they're one hundred percent on your side. So this person made you feel really, like I said, really blessed and satisfied. And you probably wish that you had someone like that in your life. And there they were at the time. They actually showed up. Yeah, we all could use a good friend. So that's what they were for you. They were 100% on your side at that time. So that's what we have for the past, the recent past. Now let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Wands, they're warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person, it's about having energy of easy distraction so you're going to need to try to stay focused this card is about things that you started some time ago it, they're starting to come to life they're starting to come to fruition it can also show a need for new things new adventures new approaches new ideas the page it brings energy positive energy but you have to supply the follow-through however so this page of wands is paired with the knight of pentacles is about messages it could be about money or finance you could be receiving some type of news that you've been waiting on and the news is going to be good news it's good news with this knight of pentacles pentacles stands for money finance cash coins dividends so that's good news and it's about it coming in it's coming in okay the night is a very practical card. It tells us to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of our lives. You probably heard the saying, take care of the little things and the big things will fall into place. 
Well, the Nine of Pentacles, it asks you to look at that, how you're handling your affairs. And is a very grounding influence. So with these two cards paired together for your present time, Page of Wands and Knight of Pentacles, you need to try to stay focused at this time. Because the Page of Wands, you can get easily distracted, real easy. Because there will be a lot of new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas with this Page of Wands. And you'll, you'll just want to continue to explore. Yeah, you'll have a lot of excitement and a lot, a lot of energy, so it's going to be hard to stay focused. So you'll need to do that because you've got this Knight of Pentacles there. There's some type of good news message about money, about money coming in. It's going to be so good that you're going to have a hard time staying focused. A hard time staying focused. Yeah, some things that you started a long time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. They're starting to come to life. And that's what money can do for you. So just remember to take care of the little things and the big things will fall into place. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is about. So yeah, it's going to be a great message coming in. And the news is going to be what you've been waiting to hear. Very, very good news. Stay focused. That's the key. Now let's move on down and take a look at the challenge. We have the Empress. The Empress is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Empress, just, just to let you know a little bit about the Empress, the Empress does not play by the rules. The Empress has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong, and any and all endeavors. That does not mean that she'll always get her way. But she's a reminder not to ignore. Don't ignore your creative and intuitive side either. She can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always be financially. Because there is many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. Now with the Empress, she can encompass any or all of them. The Empress is paired with the Queen of Pentacles, which is a card that indicates you probably will be spending time and money and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. Now, this is a good thing. Keep in mind, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people will be looking to you for insight and or advice at this time. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This will be a good time period when you'll get a whole lot accomplished. So for your challenge, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, it's basically letting you know that the Empress has a lot of power, a whole lot of power. And it's about coming abundance. Yeah, it's about coming into abundance in, in so many ways. Like I said, um, Financially is only one way to become abundance, but the Empress can encompass all kinds of abundance. All kinds. And all of them. Not only all kinds, but all of them. So, you'll be coming into abundance at this time, but it's paired with this Queen of Pentacles. You might feel like staying at home. Or doing a lot of work around the house. Uh, just to make yourself feel more comfortable. At your home surroundings with this Queen of Pentacles. So you'll be having a lot of. Or using a lot of strategy. Yeah a lot of strategy to make your. To make your surroundings more comfortable for you. Because you'll be feeling like I said very abundant. You'll be feeling very abundant, and um, you just want you'll be wanting to make sure that your home is feeling like it's at a great place too, because you might be wanting to spend more time at home, or maybe you work at home. So you'll be getting a lot accomplished, and that's what we have for the challenge. 
And then let's move on down and take a look at the outcome. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Emperor. Now the Two of Pentacles could be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to do too many from trying to do too many things or paying attention to quite so many things. Because at this time, multitasking, it's not going to be your friend. You may need to cut down on things you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation, it may need to be more balanced. Be sure you're paying attention there. The Two of Pentacles is paired with the Emperor. Now, the emperor shows us that domination over the mind, over the heart, is necessary sometimes, even though it's not wanted. In fact, he should be welcomed, and that is what you have to think about when this card appears. When hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. Because the emperor, it, sig it signals this, but it also signals that now is a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the confidence and self-control this focus is going to bring you at this time. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have very little problem mastering most of the other obstacles that life might throw at you. So with the Two of Pentacles and the Emperor paired together for your outcome. Uh, it's about trying to balance and stop multitasking. Please, Pisces, it's not your friend at this time. It is not going to be your friend. Yep, you're paying too much attention to many things. Multitasking, I'll say it again, it's not your friend at this time. You got the Emperor here. Once you stop multitasking, as the once you stop multitasking, you become the emperor. You're gonna have it much easier. You'll find it much easier to make hard choices, and then you'll you'll become more confident and self-controlled, and you'll have much better focus. So uh, cut out that multitasking. Like I said, don't do it. 